Hey, Vision here. So I was looking at this Demon Souls gameplay trailer and I thought to myself, yeah, it's cool and all, but uh, there's still a lot of things I don't really like and I thought about maybe making this little thingy that will show the stuff that I'm not exactly sure of. Because there's a lot of people praising the trailer, there's also some people who are saying all of those negative stuff, but I wanted to give my own perspective because no one really cares about it, so that would be pretty cool. So don't worry, you don't have to just dislike because of the title, it's not a clickbait. Almost. I've also hit a 100 subscribers milestone, so if you care, you can listen to some stuff I'll have to say at the end of this video. But for now, let's just get into the trailer. One more thing I need to say before is that I don't exactly like Demon's Souls, the original game. I played it as the last one and I've played all of them aside of Bloodborne now. I like it the least and uh, the reason is mostly because it's way too easy for me now that uh, I've played every other game. Uh, but I can definitely appreciate the atmosphere and that's the first thing I'm, a I'm not exactly sure about when it comes to this trailer is that I, I don't think that they're exactly trying to preserve the atmosphere that was present in the original. And I'm not talking about environments here, like many people were talking on the first trailer. What I'm trying to say is, as pathetic as the Demon Souls atmosphere was in the original, I didn't feel the quest that my character took upon himself uh, was as epic as the new trailers are trying to make it. At least for me personally, Playing Demon's Souls felt more like I have to throw this thrash away and not I have to save the world. I might be alone at this judgement, but I'm not exactly happy that the trailers seem to be leaning to the second option. Now I'll address the things that don't look good in this trailer, that don't, don't look promising, but they're probably not going to be in the real game, so the things like being able to one-shot every enemy with the basic weapon, be able to fast roll with full armor, being able to block 5 or 6 attacks in a row without running out of stamina, those things are probably not going to be present in the real game. I'm not exactly sure about the camera perspective, it doesn't look good, it doesn't look like a Souls game, but it might not be present in the real game as well, it might be just a cinematic effect for the trailer. Now to the things that are not bad on their own, but they can get old quite quickly if we don't have any variants. First thing is the backstab and repost animations. They, they really pack a punch and they look meaty and great, but if we see the same twist of the sword and the same kick and the end of every backstab animation, it might get old real quickly. Same for the repost animation, when the character picks up his enemy and just slams him down to the ground, it might get old quite quickly. One last concern in this category is the grunting. The main character was constantly huffing and puffing and grunting while walking while attacking. I'm not exactly sure if that's a good idea, we haven't seen this in, the, uh, in any other Souls game. I think Vati said that if uh, the grunting is not present in the soul form that it would be a really cool indicator of being in a soul form and I, I, I have to agree, this is a great idea. I hope that's the case. So finally I got through all this fodder, now I can get to the really bad stuff. So the thing I really hate about this trailer is... Thanks for watching this video and also thank you very much for the 100 subscribers. I'm extremely happy to announce that uh, this motivated me to finally create the Discord server that I was talking on my stream for the last few months. Uh, so the server is still a work in progress, but you can make suggestions on how to improve it in the appropriate channel. Link will be in the description and also in the pinned comment of this video. You can also follow me on Twitch, where I stream a few times a week. I also want to apologize for the lack of content in the last few weeks, but I was very busy. So yeah, that's it. Bye-bye.